planner babes it's Ashley in this video I'm gonna show you how I'm setting up my fitness planner for the month of February and we're also gonna go ahead and plan for the first week of February so I'm gonna walk you through that entire process how I'm getting this planner all set up and ready to go for the month and I will be using some of the floral stickers from the pressed florals be happy box it is an amazing be happy box and if you love florals you do not want to miss it it will be available on September the 4th at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So make sure you guys are following the Happy Planner and you're watching their website for that. Okay, so what I've been doing here recently is using the teacher layout from the Happy Planner as my fitness planner. And I'm loving it because it's functional but can also make it cute. And that's my planning style. Functional plus cute equals a happy Ashley. So I'm loving this layout. I'm, I'm considering, like I didn't set it up for the entire month of February as far as the weeks go because I've thought about maybe going back and creating my own spreads like I did before but I don't know it's kind of a hit or miss it depends on what I'm feeling each week but I do love that with the teacher layout or with my wellness planner that I already have that's it's the one laying below the teacher layout that is the wellness planner from the happy planner I do like though that I already have some options if I have busy weeks and I can't sit down and create my own spreads so that's kind of why I take it week by week. If there's a week that I have some more time, I will create my own. If not, I will more than likely choose the teacher layout over the wellness layout just because I'm loving, I'm loving the lines, I'm loving being able to decorate it, and I love that it is neutral so I can add whatever color stickers I'm wanting to it. Now, I chose a month out of the teacher planner that I have not planned in and I've not taken pages out of, and I'm gonna be using that for the month of February. So I have a sticky note here. And I'm putting the sticky note in the planner so let's say next week I decide to use the teacher planner. I can just flip open right to that sticky note. It's ready to go. I know where the week is. I know what I need to pull out. Now the way that I'm doing this for the first week is I will be using, as you can see, it's like the monthly section of the teacher layout with the first part of the week of the wellness planner. And I'm going to take my Tombow double-sided tape. I'm going to adhere those two pages together so whenever I open my planner up, the monthly section is from the wellness layout and then the weekly section will be from the teacher and there won't be pages in between it'll all be stuck together because I know I'm not going to be using that first week obviously we're decorating this and getting this set up and ready to go so that's how I that's how I got this all set up and ready to go and if you do not have Tombow double-sided tape in your arsenal yet please get it please grab it it is amazing I love it it is so quick and so easy to use and it works amazingly well now for the right side, the page that I have inside of my hand, I do not adhere that to anything because next week, if I use the teacher layout, then I don't need to stick any pages together. But if I decide to maybe create my own custom spread, then I will adhere those pages together. It's really hard to explain in a voiceover, but I think you guys understand what it is that I'm talking about. And here comes the fun stuff. We're pulling out the fun stickers. I ended up only using sophisticated florals, but I also pulled out the beauty and floral sticker book as well as the press floral sticker book from that Be Happy box because I was kind of like, oh, which one do I want to use? But I ended up going with press florals. It is definitely my favorite. I love, love the colors inside of the sticker book. Absolutely gorgeous. And it has a lot of boxes, which makes me happy. I've said this before, but I consider myself the box lady because I always use boxes inside of my spreads. Actually, it's kind of rare if you see a spread that I make without a box sticker in it. Um, gosh, I don't think that's happened in a very long time, actually, so just call me the box lady. But anyways, that's why I love sophisticated florals. Now, the pressed floral sticker book has a lot of boxes, and then the uh, beauty and floral sticker book also has some boxes in it, too. But I really love the ones from sophisticated florals because they are plain. And whenever I am using the teacher planner, I'll walk you through it here in a second, but when I'm using the teacher planner, I convert it. And the boxes that I'm putting down, I will have titles in them for what each row is for.
All right, here I am pulling out my fitness planner. I'm looking at last week's spread to help guide me with categorizing this week's spread. So the box stickers that I laid there, like I said, I will have categories for those. And I was using last week's spread to help me figure out which categories I want. I did end up keeping the same categories because the categories I used last week were working out great. I love them. I love having that information there. So I decided to stick with the same ones. Now I like setting up my categories before I start adding stickers because this helps guide sticker placement. So for example, with the nutrition category, I'm not gonna be putting a ton of stickers there because I need all of that room to make sure I have enough room to write out all of the things that I'm eating throughout the day. Same thing with nutrition tracking, the one down at the bottom that says track it. So that is what helps guide sticker placement with this, which to me is awesome because it helps give me direction. But really quickly, I'll go over the different categories and what they mean. The first category, so that first box says intention, and that's where I will set my intention for the day. And this is kind of like my goals. What do I need to focus on? Which is still my morning routine, y'all. <laughs> Oh, I hate the mornings. I hate getting up early. I really do, but, well, I shouldn't say I totally hate it. It's like a love-hate relationship. I love getting up early because when I get up early, I am way more productive. I am more focused. I have more energy throughout the day because when I get up early, I have time to myself. I'm getting my workout in. Like, I'm starting my day off right, right? But however, I am a night owl by heart, and my body just naturally wants to stay awake at night and not get up in the mornings. So that is still one of my primary focuses is trying to get my butt to sleep at night so I can get up in the mornings. But anyways, intention. That is where I will set my intention or kind of micro goals for the day. The next category down is nutrition. That's where I'll be tracking what I eat. The next one down says nutrition tracking. This is where I am tracking my carbs, proteins, fats, and calories. The next one down is workouts. Self-explanatory, I'll be tracking my workouts. And then the one, uh, the last one says track it. Now this is where I will be keeping up with how much water I'm drinking each day, how many times I'm drinking coffee because I drink way too much coffee. That's still another struggle I have, but I don't know if I want to change that one or not. <laughs> um, tracking coffee, how many calories I've burned, how much sleep I'm getting, struggle bus here, and then also how many steps I'm getting throughout the day. So that's what that bottom category is for. All right, this part is very important for me to have a successful week and for me to keep up with tracking everything. 
So before the week starts, I will sit down and I will write out what I'm tracking for every single day of the week for nutrition tracking and for the track it category down at the bottom. So on the track it category, what I'm writing out is the first one says H2O. I have coffee, cows burn, sleep, and steps, which is what I talked about earlier about what I'm tracking. Now I go ahead and write this out before the week starts because when I get busy, when I get stressed out, or you know whatever the case is, I won't sit down and rewrite this stuff out. I won't. Then I won't end up tracking it, right? So that's not. It's not helpful if I'm not tracking it. So before the week starts, I sit down, and I just have my planner completely prepped and ready to go. Usually my hand starts cramping at this point, and it's like, okay, you can stop writing. Uh, but it is worth it to sit down and figure out what you're tracking each day and to have it all wrote out and ready to go. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the nutrition tracking section. For each day, I'm just writing out carbs, protein, fats, and calories. And then as the day goes, or well, for nutrition tracking, I usually don't write it down till the following day. So like on Tuesday, I'll write down Mondays. On Wednesday, I'll write down Tuesdays. Same thing too for like how many calories I burned and stuff because I have to wait for the day to finish, if that makes sense. So I'm usually writing this stuff down the next day, but it's already like labeled, ready to go. All I have to do is pop in the numbers. Now I'm going to take my Papermate Flare Felt Tip Marker in Medium and I'm going to put the days of the week up there. So Monday through Sunday and then also putting the dates. All right, this right here is my habit tracker for the entire month. This is one that I created. And on here I'm tracking my workouts, my nutrition, my water, how long I've studied, memory keeping, and morning routine. If you guys want me to go in depth more with my habit trackers, how I use those, please let me know and I will be more than happy to make a video. Now, I usually do a word of the video type deal and I have you guys comment down below to show me that you have watched until the end. But today, I just wanna know in the comments section, if you've watched this far, let me know if you are gonna be ordering the Pressed Florals Be Happy box. I gotta know, are you excited for it? Are you not excited for it? Do you love florals? Like, give me all the details. Let's chat about it because I'm super pumped for this one. It is an incredible Be Happy box. Again, that's gonna come out on February the 4th, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, so you guys can check that out. Let us fade away. It's not a price I want to pay, and it's not too late. No, we lost our purpose, chasing all that surplus. You were all that I need. I feel that we can break free. We can still go back there to a place with no cares. We can turn. I forgot about this part. I'm just pulling out my Sharpie S notes, and I'm going to pick out a color. Um, to use for the month with my habit tracker and I chose this light pink to go with like February vibes and I'm going to stick that on my planner with my pen so I already have it ready to go each evening whenever I'm tracking my habits. I go ahead and fill that in. Everything that I need is all here together in one section ready to go. So that is going to be my planner setup for February. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Have an incredible day my friend and I will see you in the next video. Remember you being hopeful, but the tone